Hello, lovely YouTube family. What's going on? We are dependent not only on sweet, starchy, and fried foods, but also on the opinions of other people. And it's hard to say which is more harmful. Instead of living our lives to the fullest, we try to be attractive in the eyes of others every day. Every Facebook post, every photo is created in accordance to the opinion of others and to please others. But why are we wasting our precious years on caring about the opinions of others? No matter how we convince ourselves that we do not care, it is extremely difficult to avoid other people's influence. And the more the number of people around us, the more time and nerves we spend on them. When will this madness end? The more time we spend thinking about what others think, the more time we spend as in prison, not for our own thoughts, but for others. But this is just our own life, isn't it? Would you like to spit on all of this? If yes, then sit back and relax, and watch the whole video to get out of the terrible shackles of this addiction forever. Here are 10 tips to help you hear your inner voice, become yourself, and let go of other people's opinions. Number 10. Have confidence in yourself. This is the key. Have confidence in yourself. For that, you have to start loving yourself if you haven't yet. Become aware of the superhuman being that you are. Love all the particles of your being so much that no judgment whatsoever against them makes you doubt yourself. Only you know what you are worth, and it is certainly not for others to tell you what you are, are not, or what should or should not be. Number 9. Make a list of your top 10 values. Sometimes, someone else's opinion is confusing or overwhelming because you yourself are not confident in your beliefs, principles, and life values. Take the time to figure out what touches and inspires you and why these factors are so important to you. Perhaps your main value is freedom, while others value stability and predictability. The main thing is not to condemn yourself for other values. Just understand that you have the right to defend ideals like any other person. Number 8. Write down your most unique qualities. Build your confidence by celebrating your most interesting qualities. Perhaps you are ashamed of some hobbies or aspirations. Drop that. Instead, think about how these qualities make you unique. When you realize the value of the components of your personality, you will stop worrying too much about other people's opinions. Be bold and follow what makes you happy. Everything else will fall into place. It's just that simple. Number 7. Decide what you want. Nobody will live your life for you. Ask yourself basic questions to understand which direction you want to go. What are your values? How do you want to build your life? Know yourself and your desires. This will help you understand when other people's desires run counter to yours, and you will stop adjusting to others, even if you are uncomfortable. Often we follow the lead of others because we do not want to be the cause of the conflict, to lose friendship, love, and various goodies. It's easy to say yes in any situation, just to see approval in other people's eyes. But the main thing is to ask yourself what exactly you think is right, and follow this path no matter what. Number 6. Say what you think when talking to friends or co-workers. Be firm in your own beliefs about values or beliefs that are important to you. When someone argues with you, do not give in. Say what you believe in. Over time, you will find that the difference in views makes the conversation more interesting. Discussing different opinions does not necessarily lead to conflict or lead to people disliking you. When you stay true to yourself, when confronted with other opinions, you gain confidence in yourself and your beliefs. Feel free to be yourself and do not apologize for this. And believe me, others will begin to appreciate your personality. Number 5. Live in the present. Maintain awareness in your daily life. Often in different situations, we waste time worrying about what others are thinking and completely miss the moment. As a result, we find ourselves distracted and uninterested. If you find yourself drifting in a negative direction as you talk, try to gently bring yourself back to the present moment. To do this, focus on the breathing and sensory sensations around you. What do you hear? 
What smells do you feel? As you begin to live more consciously, worries about others' opinions will dissipate and you can perceive what is happening in a more positive light. Number four, decide whose opinion matters. Make a list of significant people. All people in our lives are divided into two categories, important and ordinary. Decide whose opinion is really important to you. Make a list gradually, including relatives. Take it to the maximum, then cross it out. For example, a boss or colleague is on the list, but you are going to move to another city anyway, and you won't see them big so you don't have to worry about their opinions. This will not affect your future life, as well as the opinion of your classmate who just bought a new car. The list should be reduced to a comfortable minimum. Answer yourself to the question why the opinion of a particular person is important to you. The next time you feel the importance of an opinion, just remember it is this person on the list. If not, then why worry? Number three, you don't need to justify yourself. No beliefs are modeled on what we experience throughout our lives, so it is important that the understanding are not the same for every person. Depending on who it is in front of you, it is up to you to see if it is useful to justify yourself or not. Otherwise, in general, you are not accountable to anyone except yourself. Remember that trying to justify yourself at all costs is in most cases, especially when it comes to your personal choices, a big waste of time. Especially since people only understand what they want to understand. We often over explain and justify in the hope that the other person will understand and come around to our point of view. It's my advice to you that never justify yourself to anyone because the person who loves you doesn't need it and the person who does not love you will not believe you. Number two, be skeptical about everything which others say it is no coincidence that people repeat this expression so often. If you take other people's opinions too close to your heart, you will get bogged down among a thousand different ideas about how to live. There are too many lifestyles and point of views in the world. Of course, it's important to stay open to new ideas and different points of view, but you also need to disconnect from all of this at times. Remember that people speak and act based on their experience and understanding. Each of us has a unique path. Number one, not everyone has to love you. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Do not try at all costs to be loved by the whole world. Even chocolate isn't all popular. Yet chocolate doesn't care about those who don't like her. Chocolate is a food to please those who love her. Okay, chocolate is not a human being, but you can see what I'm trying to explain. Be like chocolate. And you, how do you deal with other people's opinions? Do you still care or have stopped caring about others' opinions? In your life, how do you go about maintaining your freedom of mind? Please feel free to tell us in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe to Kaizen Karta TV and also press the bell icon if you don't want to keep it coming. I hope to see you soon in my next video. Till then, apply these tips which I explained in this video and get out of the rotten chains of this habit forever.